Hi everybody, it is time for Super Kids. Before we get into Super Kids, I want you to grab a pencil and a piece of paper. We're gonna do some sounding out, but I'm gonna tell you what letters to write, and then we're gonna figure out what the word is. Sorry, my chair is spinning, so if it seems like I'm getting closer to you, it's probably my chair. Okay, so what I want you to write first is the word that is spelled J A M. Right. J A M. Let's sound out what word this is. Ready? J A M. J A M. Jam. Remember, jam is just like jelly. All right, now we're gonna change the M to a B. So spell the word J A B. So your new word should spell J A B. When you finish writing that, I want you to try to sound it out by yourself. Jab, jab. Now, funny story. These are actually Mr. Bortz's initials. Jab, jab. And jab means to hit, or kind of like poke, like really fastly poke, jab. All right, now we're gonna change the A to a O. So you're gonna spell the word J, O, B. So your new word should look like this. J, O, B. When you are done writing J, O, B, I would like you to please try to sound that out for me. Okay, let's sound it out together. Ready? J, A, B. Job. Job. Good job, good job. All right, now we're gonna change the B to a G. So you're gonna spell J-O-G. J-O-G, can you write that down for me? And I want you to try to sound out that new word, J-O-B. Let's sound it out together, ready? J-A-G, J-A-G, jog. Now remember, jog means to take a walk, right? All right, now we're gonna change the G to a G, a Huh. A G into a T. So the new word you're gonna spell is J O T. J O T. Now sound out that word for me. Sorry, my ear really itches. All right. J A T. Jot. Now, jot means to write down something really quickly. So you might hear your parents say, oh, I need to jot down something. It means to write something really quickly. All right, next word. We're gonna change the O to an E. So the new word is J-E-T. J E T. You should spell J E T. Now I want you to try to sound it out by yourself. J -E -T. Jet. Now remember, a jet is a very quick airplane. All right, awesome job with your writing, and I sure hope you are sounding them out before I sound it out for you. 
Okay, so before we get into the lesson, what do we usually do before we get into the lesson? We listen to the J song. So let me share my screen so we can see the J song together. It's Annabelle. I'm the super needle today, and I've got just a few jokes to tickle your funny bone, just a few tricks to jog your brain, just a few games to play with the super kids on the jolliest jingle jangle day. Grab your Super Kids books, some scissors, and a glue stick, please. And when you have all that supplies, please open up to pages 30 and 31. Now, I can only show 30 by itself and then 31 by itself. So, what we're going to do today, we are going to look at Edabetta's book, and she is making a new rhyme about Jack and Jill. Does anyone know the nursery rhyme Jack and Jill? It's like Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. Jill came tumbling after. That's the that's the nursery rhyme that I know. You might know a different one, but that's the one we know. Well, Edabetta put a little bit of a different spin on it. She added some dialogue sentences. And remember, we learned about the dialogue sentence shows what the people are saying without a speech bubble. Now, I want you to look at page 31 real quick. 31 has pictures that match the book because Edabetta is trying to trick the super kids and saying, you need to put the pictures with the matching dialogue sentences. Okay, so we see Jack and Jill right here. Now, you're probably wondering what a well is. So let's look at this picture right here. A well is um, something that people had to go to before there was running water in your sinks. So before houses even be had running water people had to fill buckets with water from deep holes in the ground and that is called a well okay so the kids are going to fetch a pail of water a pail is a bucket now let's look the first picture it looks like they found the well and they need to travel up the hill this one, they're all out of order. What's happening in this picture? Uh, they both fell down the hill. They didn't even make it up the hill yet. So how could they fall down it? So we got to put these in order. This one, they are wet and they look like they're hot and huffing and puffing. So we'll see where that one goes. And then look at this one. They're at the top of the hill getting the water. So what we're gonna do first, 
is I would like you to please cut out these pictures because today we're going to put the pictures together. We're going to put the pictures and the missing pages together, okay? So first thing you got to do is cut the pink lines and then you can cut the gray lines. Kind of looks like a purplish gray. So I'm gonna give you a few moments to do that. I'm gonna pause the video and I need you to pause the video. When you have all your, all the pictures cut out and ready to go, you can unpause the video. All right, so you have all your pictures cut out. Now you should turn back to page 30 because we need to start a story at the beginning. So what we're going to do, I'm gonna read this story with you. So I want you to first read the first two pages by yourself, and then I'm gonna read them to you. So I'm gonna pause the video, I need you to pause the video as well, and then you read these two pages, and then we'll discuss them, okay? All right, good luck. Hey, I'm gonna read this to you. It says, quick, said, Oh, that's a memory word we learned yesterday. Quick, said Jack. Quick, said Jill. Let's get the bucket to the top of the hill. All right, so let's go back to page 31. And let's figure out which picture looks like they're saying, quick, let's get the bucket to the top of the hill. How does this picture look? I think that picture matches. So I need you to find this picture with Jack pointing up to the top of the hill. And I need you to put, to glue that down. So you got that picture, glue it down right here. Oh. Before, right here. So glue that picture right there for me. And I'll read it to you again so when you're gluing, you can see that this really matches what we're doing. Quick, said Jack. Quick, said Jill. Let's get the bucket to the top of the hill. Sorry, because it rhymes, I'm trying to sing it in the song. <laughs> Okay, so you should have the first picture of Jack pointing up the hill right here. All right, let me read the next page. Stop, said Jack. Stop, said Jill. The bucket is full and it will spill. Uh-oh, so let's go back. I have to turn the page, you do not. Let's find which picture matches that phrase. So which picture looks like the bucket is filled and it's going to spill? Well, this one, they're tumbling down a hill. I don't know if that's the right one. This one, they are soaked. Not sure if that's this one. All right, they're pulling up the bucket from the well and it looks like it's spilling over. So do you think that's a good picture that matches? I think so. So let's, I'm gonna take my pencil. You need to find the picture of Jack and Jill pulling the bucket out of the well. And then go back to page 30. So you have the picture of Jack and Jill with the bucket and you're going to glue it right oh my goodness i keep doing that you're going to glue it right here and while you are gluing i'm going to read this again so you can see the picture really matches stop said jack stop said jill the bucket is full and it will spill. Okay, so if you are done with page 30, you can turn to page 31 and we can continue on. Okay. 
Now I'm going to pause the video and I need you to pause the video because you are going to read the next two pages and then I'll read it to you. So good luck. All right, let's read. Help, said Jack. Help, said Jill, as the bucket fell to the bottom of the hill. Uh-oh. So let's cross out the pictures we already used. So we already used this picture because that was the first page, and this was the second page. Now let's look. Which picture shows the bucket falling down the hill? This one, the, sec the first one or the second one? That's right, the first one. So we're going to take the one where Jack and Jill are falling down the hill with the bucket and you're gonna put it right there. And while you are gluing, I'm gonna read the, picture, the page again. Help, said Jack. Help, said Jill, as the bucket fell to the bottom of the hill. All right. Let's read this one. Huff, said Jack. Puff, said Jill, let's run back up to the top of the hill. Now we only have one picture left. So which picture shows that they are gonna be running back up the hill? This picture, and you're going to take that picture and you're gonna glue it right here. And while you're gluing, I'm gonna read it to you again. Huff said Jack. Puff, said Jill. Let's run back up to the top of the hill. All right, awesome job. So let's turn back to 30 and 30, page 30, and we are going to read it together. Ready? Use your pointer fingers. Ready? Listen, and we're going to do it together. Ready? Quick, said Jill, or Jack. Quick, said Jill. Let's get the bucket to the top of the hill. Now I want you to read that again. Let's read it again. And let's find two words that rhyme. Quick, said Jack. Quick, said Jill. Let's get the bucket to the top of the hill hill. Which words rhyme in the first page? That's right. I want you to grab a pencil and I want you to underline the words that rhyme. And the words that rhyme are Jill and Hill. Do Jill and Hill rhyme? Yes, they do. Let's read the next one, see if there's any more that rhyme. Stop, said Jack. Stop, said Jill. The bucket is full and it will spill. There's three words that rhyme on this page. What words are they? That's right. So put a line under Jill, Will, and spill. Do Jill will spin or spin? Jill will spill. Do they all rhyme? Yes, they do. Awesome job. Now we're going to turn to page 31 and see if there's any rhyming words on those two pages. Help, said Jack. Help said Jill as the bucket fell to the bottom of the hill. There's two rhyming words in this one. Yep, Jill and hill. Jill and hill. All right, let's read this one. Huff, said Jack. 
Puff said, Jill, let's run back up to the top of the hill. Which two words rhyme? Here's a hint, it's the same as the last two. Yeah, Jill and Hill. Awesome job with rhyming. So you can close your books, but we are not done yet. When you are done closing your books, I need you to grab practice page 44. Practice page 44. Okay, so on this page, it has lots of rhyming words. And you need to read the words and figure out which picture, which word matches the picture. So let's read the words, ready? Ill, mill, ill, jill, b, ill, bill. Which word matches the picture? That's right, the word Jill, because that is Jill from the story. Now I'm going to tell you the, the rest of the pictures, what they are, and then you're gonna do this by yourself. Okay, ready? Hill, Jack, Tack, Stick, Duck, Truck, and Lock. Again, Hill, Jack, Tack, stick, duck, truck, and lock. Now again, you are choosing the word that matches the picture, okay? You guys did such a great job today, and I want all your work posted below. All right, have fun and good luck with the practice page. I will see you later. Bye!